Good afternoon. It is 2.54 p.m. on the eastern coast uh, here in Kentucky, in Lexington. I come to you, as I did last night, to congratulate President Obama and the three states that we, went, we won uh, on a landslide victory. I also uh, would like to uh, thank Chad Griffin for his help on the HRC campaign. I also would like to uh, address some of the things that will be happening in the near future. Uh, the last week of this month, or the last week of this year rather, there will be a political announcement made by myself uh, that will be made here in Lexington, Kentucky. I also uh, want you people to know that I love you, I care about you, and I would like to see some changes made to Kentucky politics and also politics within the United States. That is the reason why that I'm also asking for an initiative to be placed on Kentucky's ballot for the first time since 2004. Uh, this n ballot needs to be placed on that amendment to, to affirm to Kentucky's LGBT youth and adults that we care about you. I'm going to work closely with the HRC and the ACOU to see that this gets passed and that gets put before the uh, House of Representatives and also uh, the Kentucky uh, Campaign Coalition. I do think that it is time that Kentucky politics take front, front and center stage to be able to uh, bring about some change that we need. Mitch McConnell has been in that office in the U.S. State Senate since I, as I, since I was a little boy and I think it's time that uh, career politicians that states that they were there only for a few years uh, they only have, they can have four terms, and in four terms, that's it. I think each term should be uh, a five-year term, so he can have 20 years in that office, but as far as uh, when his 20th hit, he needs to uh, figure out some other plans to uh, finish out his uh, life, or her life. I will be seeking the office of Mitch McConnell. I will be uh, running against him. And I will be hoping that the people of Kentucky represent me and help me to get this done. Due to the fact that I do know that it's time for a change in Kentucky, not only for the coal industry, but for the uh, teachers and for the, uh, to bring more automotive companies to, uh, to Kentucky and also to help bring about full change. I think it's time that if we did this and we did this productively, we could bring more companies, more jobs, and more businesses to Kentucky. Not only that, but uh, I am understanding that, you know, I, work, I have to work all of 2013 to get where I need to be in 2014. I am going to sit down and start reading, reading the legislative research newsletters and stuff. That way that I can be, become abreast of the situation at hand and be able enough to hear and know what people are wanting. I know that, you know, I'm a young person, but I can say this much. It's time that we come up with a battle and a, a clean house for once. And, you know, taking a person that's been there for years out, some people may be afraid of that change. But with me, I can say this much. I will protect Medicare, Social Security, disability, and also retirement funds, and I will assure you that no changes will be made unless you are notified. And I think that each person, we need to establish a voting line, and I think we need to uh, enforce what laws we have and deregulate some laws that we don't need on the books anymore. There's plenty of places that you can change politics, but let's do it here at home first. Let's, you know, stay within our country boundaries and be able enough to do what needs to be done to help this country not make it worse and not make it any worse than it already is. But I would like to also say congratulations to a, a few people that has been elected to office and represent uh, our agenda from the Human Rights Commission, our campaign, and also uh, a few other organizations as well. I do hope that you in the near future will see more about me, know more about me, and become friends with me. As I open, as I open myself up to this run, I hope that people out there will understand who I'm about and what I'm for. Not only I, I would enact laws of abuse, I would also enact laws of uh, 
uh, of two things, a one strike law. If you're bullying somebody in school, out in life, or an adult that cannot fight for themselves, you will do time. It is time that we have a unified law across the land in order to protect people that can't speak or do anything for themselves. I do hope and I pray that you support our people that got elected last night and in our initiatives that got voted on and supported. I do ask that you uh, take your hat off a moment and remember the, the America of today because to, uh, the America of tomorrow we can change. Congratulations President Obama. I hope that you uh, have a successful more, four more years and I hope that uh, you know we can make more changes than what we have. And please keep your promise with us is what you have asked us to do for you. You got in that office, so you need to support what you said that you would do for us and our community. I do hope that you uh, hear this and know that I care about you. Also, to those many people that got elected last night to Senate and, and uh, uh, U.S. Congress, for the first time in our lives, we have several citizens that have been elected under the terminology of their LGBT community. I ask that you support those as well. I will need your support this coming term to oust out Mitch McConnell that has been there and basically has become some political leader of a uh, group of people, of, of power pushers. Let's break that party apart and let's start working for the betterment of Kentucky and Kentucky politics. I do hope you all the best of the rest of this week. And now we'll tune me in again next week, and I, or later on this week, when I get time, I will put up a new video. I do hope that you uh, have a good week, and know that God loves you, and so do I.